Uh, hi everyone, this is Brad Cummings uh, from BoardGameGeek.com. I'm here with Randall from Catalyst Game Labs, and uh, I know you guys have been having a lot of your products come to the to the digital market. Um, can you tell us a little bit about some of the recent releases? Uh, well, in general, we're continuing our emphasis on you know pushing all of our products through PDF releases at a, you know kind of at a bare minimum. Um, last year, we released. Uh, well, it was actually in conjunction with another company, but we released an uh, app for a game called Linear, which is kind of along the bejeweled line of uh, games, uh, and we have a board game for that that's going to be coming out in the near future. Uh, and another thing that we're working on right now is a dice app uh, for uh, Shadowrun. And we're actually hoping to have something to show off here at the show. It didn't quite work out. Hopefully in the couple of coming weeks we'll have a chance to be able to show off that dice app. Uh, and then we're doing the same thing. We're just continuing to explore new options, new apps. Uh, at the end of the day, we're not really an electronics publisher at all. Uh, you know, we're definitely old school and uh, uh, we, we continue to learn in that venue uh, and, uh, you know, but all, you know, similar to what uh, Harebrain Schemes has done with Shadowrun Returns and with the coming uh, Shadowrun Online from, uh, see I'm starting to wake up too on an early, early Sunday morning. <laughs> Uh, from Cliffhanger Productions, uh, you know, the lines that we do support uh, electronics very well. Uh, we've actually had two or three three kind of pseudo offers on the table to turn the Duke into a, a electronics, or so definitely want to pursue that. Uh, balance of power, we think, could make another great uh, electronic thing. And then, uh, obviously, we'd love to see Leviathans turned into uh, a great, uh, I think it would make a great app game. Um, in terms of, you know, obviously outside companies are, are Hairbrain Screams and those are working on the Battletech games and on Shadowrun Returns and things like that. How do those affect your, you know, your core product here? Do people recognize the brands because they found them in a video game first and then come here or how does it work? That is actually really hard to say. Okay. <laughs> uh, Battletech, uh, Shadowrun a little bit, but Battletech in particular has had a huge long history of games. Uh, you know, all the way back to the Crescent Hawks Inception, uh, and then through the first Mech Warrior series of games, uh, the Mech Assault games, and it's been surprisingly difficult to tell is that doing something for the tabletop line. Now the recognition obviously is there, uh, but does that actually increase our sales? Do we go back and forth? Not exactly sure. We are doing a lot with um, uh, Hairbrain Schemes, uh, I believe over the last six months. Uh, back in December, we announced kind of the year of Shadowrun and that Shadowrun 5 was coming, Sprawl Gangers and Crossfire and all the different items that we're doing. And then we worked really hard with Hairbrain Schemes and Shadowrun Returns to do lots and lots of uh, co-branding online. And, you know, if there was one announcement on one side, they would include links and kind of push to our side. If we had an announcement, we'd push back as much as we can. And anecdotal evidence says that that type of thing that we have done has kind of raised all boats, if you will. Um, but it, you know, again, at the end of the day, it's it's kind of like marketing. You know, you're, you know, you do some good big campaign, and you're like, we think it worked. <laughs> uh, but I mean, we honestly do think it worked, uh, and so we will continue to try to do these type of things. You know, for example, uh, Shadowrun Online, working with Cliffhanger Productions, uh, the plots are actually going to be working back and forth. We're working on them to actually publish a source book that's uh, almost wholly based on a plot line that is evolving through their game. Uh, players will, you know, in our book, uh, in uh, Shadowrun 5th edition and then in future products, you can. there's a unique code that will allow you to go and get a unique item in the game when it launches. Uh, effects of what the players do within Shadowrun Online will ultimately have an effect on the tabletop timeline. Um, so again, we have enough evidence to believe that that is, uh, it is working. Uh, and we are really big believers in experiments. Uh, we love experimenting, trying something new, getting that data and then going, hey, did this work? Did it not work? Do we need to try something else? Uh, and so we love that during all of this year of Shatteron with all this is going on that we're able to do that type of experiment and see do, you know, is the community out there? Do the communities cross pollinate? Do they, you know, all this type of information that's going to be really useful to have.
Well, that sounds really awesome, and I like that uh, you know you guys are doing some of your own things to supplement the supplement the tabletop, and also. Uh, Obviously, working with these licensed partners and things like that, that's really awesome. So yep. thank you so much. We really enjoy the universe and, and the games that are coming from it. So thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me on.